Good morning. Seeking repentance and seeing none, God tells Jeremiah to break the flask. What is his message? Our reading today is found at Jeremiah chapter 19, verses 10 to 15. Then you shall break the flask in the sight of the men who go with you, and say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Even so I will break this people of this city as one who breaks a potter's vessel. Even so I will break this people in this city as one breaks a potter's vessel, which cannot be made whole again, and they shall bury them in Tophah till there is no place to bury. Thus I will do to this place, says the Lord, and to its inhabitants, and make this city like Tophet. And the houses of Jerusalem and the houses of the kings of Judah shall be defiled like the place of Tophet, because of all the houses on whose roofs they have burned incense to all the host of heaven and poured out drink offerings to other gods. Then Jeremiah came from Tophet, where the Lord had sent him to prophesy. And he stood in the court of the Lord's house and said to all the people, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring on this city and on all her towns all the doom that I have pronounced against it, because they have stiffened their necks, that they might not hear my words. So the whole city will be overturned. The whole city will be made like the valley of Tophet, like the valley of the son of Hinnom. Death is coming by the bushel. The result of long years of wooing and prophesying and, and warning, the result of these many years of warning and calling and appealing, the result has not been uh, that the people have turned to God. Instead, there's been a hardening in fact, a moving toward a strong, stubborn resistance. And in that kind of situation, God has now come to that place where now he's pronouncing that, that final doom. It's a tragedy that didn't need to be. They've moved from spiritual indifference to a positive hostility. And now is going to come the mass of overturning. And he walks up the hill and he goes up to the temple. And he's to prophesy right there. And there he prophesies in no uncertain tombs. It's doom. Jeremiah has a thus saith the Lord for them. All of the doom that he's prophesied is going to come upon them now. Why? Because there's no repentance. There's no obeying. There's, there's no hearing. Just firmer resistance. Things have truly come to the breaking point. That's why Jeremiah was commanded to break the flask. God's entreaties have been rejected. And now Jeremiah's prophetic mission moves from appealing to basically informing. All right, now this is what's coming. He is now announcing doom, basically God's response to their response. The flask is broken and doom is now certain. In spite of all this, we know that there remain some faithful persons there in Judah. In fact, we're going to be seeing some of that as we carry on uh, continuing in Jeremiah. There are faithful there. Uh, they're by no means a majority, but there are some there. God still has faithful people inside the city, faithful people besides Jeremiah. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we don't know how many faithful are around us. In fact, Lord, our hearts, we plead with you to help our hearts to be faithful hearts. Help us, Lord, to be ready to be your agents, uh, whatever the overturning is that you may decree. Help us to be faithful in our family, in our local church, in that congregation where we are to be a spiritual influence for your kingdom, Lord, in the community, next, our next door neighbors. Many of them have no clue what your plans for them are. They are outside your word. Bless us, Lord, and help us to make connections with people so that they can be drawn to the heart of Jesus. Lord, use us as you will. Help us to be faithful no matter how crazy the world around us gets. We ask for your help and uh, help us to be available to you. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. If you or I ever live in a comparable time of apostasy, we'll need to remain faithful also in that time. And God will help us to do that. God be with you today.